I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY, where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys this. What item of clothing do you guys want to see me remake? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you guys request. And your overwhelming response was that I should turn a men's wool blazer into a woman's blazer. So I found this amazing blazer in the men's section at my local thrift store. But it's just a little bit too big for my life. I know nowadays it's not odd to wear a blazer that's this big on you, but I don't like when the shoulders are way wider than my actual shoulders. So for this blazer, we're gonna fix several issues to make it a woman's blazer, but I will not be switching the buttons. The direction of the buttons does not matter to me. Anyone who's checking that close to see which way my buttons are going, might as well check and see what kind of parts I have because the direction of my buttons has absolutely nothing to do with my gender. In this video, I'm going to address fit. So I really hope that's super helpful for you guys. Also, this is a 100% wool blazer that is not fully lined, which does make the project easier. You can do this on a fully lined blazer, but you just have to take apart the whole bottom part of the lining, where it's attached to the bottom hem of the blazer. Okay, first I'm going to use a seam ripper to take off the wool outer sleeve, but I'm going to leave my sleeve lining partially attached. Then I'll take out the stitch that attaches the sleeve hem to the lining. The sleeve lining may be attached in a couple other places as well, so go ahead and take those stitches out as well. When I'm doing something like this, I really try to pay close attention to what stitches I'm taking apart and how the garment is put together in general because it'll help me when I'm trying to put everything back together again. Okay, so here's my sleeve and it had this little piece of lining at the top. I'm gonna keep that piece pinned to the sleeve exactly where it is so I can sew it back exactly where it was. So the blazer sleeve will generally have two seams, one where the buttons are and one towards the front of the arm. I'm gonna turn the sleeve inside out and put it on the opposite arm. Next, I pin it to my shirt so that the seam is right where I would like the seam to hit when the blazer is back together. For me, that's right on the joint that connects your arm to your shoulder. Next, I'll pin and pinch that front seam to fit my arm. But don't forget that you still have a lining inside and you might want to wear long sleeves underneath. Once I have it pinned how I want it, then I can unpin it from my shirt. At this point, I'm really, really trying to focus on this project, but I have a little person who thinks he's Ringo Starr. At any rate, next I'll lay my sleeve out and take apart the hem. Then I'll take out the stitch where the pins are. It would have been easier to just put a new seam a distance along the old seam, but I want the excess to come from one side of the seam. So that means I have to take the seam apart and pin it down where the new seam will be. Then I'll sew it down along the pins to make the new seam. And I'm going to copy this to the other sleeve as well. I'll also measure how much I'm taking away because I need to take the same amount from the side seam to make the arm hole smaller to fit the new sleeve size. Okay, so if you have a lining, this is when you'll take the stitches out that connect the lining to the bottom hem of the blazer. Mine has this half lining, so I'll unattach it along the side. Now I'll take the same amount that I took from the sleeve out of the rear side seam, but I'm only gonna take it in that much right at the arm hole. Then I'll taper it off to about halfway down the seam. Once I've made that adjustment and pinned it, I'll sew it back up. I don't wanna take the bottom of the blazer in because it actually fits my hips pretty well. Now I'll cut off the excess and iron the seams open flat. That's how the seams were before, so I wanna replicate that to make sure it lays right on my body. I also took a little bit out of the sleeve lining and the inner lining as well. Now I'll try it on again to see if it fits to make sure I didn't take it in too much. I feel like I can move the buttons over some to make it fit tighter, but it has that opening in the back which is called a single vent and I don't want it to be sitting open. It's there to provide room for sitting down and bending over, but it shouldn't just be sitting open all the time. Okay, so now I need to figure out how much I want to cut off the shoulders. So I'll add a pin right on the top of my shoulder bone on both sides. Okay, so let's test it out to make sure the sleeves are still long enough. Yes! That's another great reason to buy a men's blazer because women's blazer sleeves are very rarely long enough for my arms. Next, I'll cut off the excess from the shoulder and the shoulder pad. You can certainly take the shoulder pad out if that's not the look you're going for. Now I'm gonna sew that lining pad down to the sleeve so it won't move around when I'm trying to sew the sleeve back on. I also sewed the lining shoulder seam a little higher according to how much of the shoulder material I cut off. Now we can reattach the sleeve. I'm gonna lift the bottom portion of the sleeve lining from the inside and insert the sleeve into the armhole. I'll pin it down from the inside and then sew it together. Once I've sewn that, I can sew the sleeve lining back to the inner lining. 
If you're not used to working with linings, you'll need a bit of patience on this step. But please don't let that discourage you from trying this project. If you sew it and realize it's backwards, just take it apart and sew it again. And remember, you're doing this for yourself. So just make the outer seams look great. The inner seams are your business. Finally, you can add that stitch back to the inside hem of the sleeve and then sew the lining back to the inside of the sleeve. And that's it. It wasn't super duper big before, but now it's just the right oversized fit for me. I would really like to do this project for someone who has a bigger chest because the edits would be more focused on the front seams. But I guess you'll just have to stay tuned because 2019 has so much more in store. So definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. And if you're excited to see me upcycle for different body types, let me know in the comments what body types you want me to address. Check out this top playlist dedicated to upcycling outerwear and the bottom one to see all my upcycles for this fall winter season. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye.